Ocarina of Time is a fascinating game to me. It's one of the most beloved and influential games of all time, and yet, in the 20 plus years since its release, there have been so many new things discovered about the game. Inspired by the Super Mario 64 iceberg, I wanted to compile a list of Ocarina of Time lore. With the help of these fine people from the Ocarina of Time Discord, this is the list I ended up compiling. It contains different levels of knowledge, rumors, myths, and urban legends. The higher levels contain more generally known ideas and get more obscure the deeper you go. While this does not contain every known thing about the game, I think it's enough to at least pique your interest. If there's something missing from the list, let me know. I'd love to read more about it. For your enjoyment, this is the Ocarina of Time Iceberg. One point oh Fire Temple music. Fire Temple originally used Islamic chant samples in its theme, but it was changed in later releases to avoid controversy. One point oh Mirror Shield texture. The original Gerudo symbol was similar to the star and crescent icon used with the Ottoman Empire, which then became associated with Islamic imagery. The mirror shield used this old design until it was changed in later releases of the game. Bottle Tennis When fighting Phantom Ganon and Ganondorf, you can reflect his energy projectiles with a bottle. There it is. Kako Attack Attacking Kakos enough times will cause a swarm of Kakos to attack you until you leave the area. Drawbridge Rubies When Hyrule Castle Market's gate goes up for the night, you can ride it up and walk across it for 60 rupees. Invisible Rubies Ganondorf's Blood Ganondorf's blood particles originally were red until it was changed to green in later releases. Lakeside Laboratory Shark There is a caged shark at the bottom of the diving pool in Lakeside Laboratory. Link's Tree Drawing On the outside of Link's house, there is a drawing of him fighting Ganon. Or maybe it's King Dodongo. Who knows? Mario portraits in Zelda's Courtyard In Zelda's Courtyard, if you look at one of the windows, you'll find portraits of Mario characters. Milking Cows You can play a bonus song in front of cows to have them fill one of your bottles with lawn lawn milk. Power Crouch Stab Crouch stabs have a base damage value of 1 and using the damage properties of your last attack. This means if you jump slash and then crouch stab, you will do jump slash damage. If your last attack was a hammer swing, your crouch stab will also have the ability to break rocks. Should be able to break it. Which it did. Rocket Gossip Stones. Attacking Gossip Stones in different ways will cause different effects. So if you do like a sort of hammer it, flatten it. Yeah, it bounces like that. So this is called Rocket Gossip Stones. And there it goes. Sinking Lore The Sinking Lore is a secret lore you can find in the fishing pond that helps you catch bigger fish. Steal the fisherman's hat. Aiming the fishing rod towards the fisherman will allow you to snag his hat. Give me back my hat. No. Sun Song freezes Redeads. Playing Sun Song near Redeads and Gibdos will freeze them in place. Freezes them. Talon and Ingo are the Mario Brothers. Talon and Ingo are dressed similarly to the Mario Brothers. Zora's River Invisible Rupees. Swimming down Zora's River will net you a lot of rupees. Somewhere around here. There it is, yeah. Adult Windmill Kako. In Kakariko Village, there is a post you can long shot to in the windmill. Taking the stairs up will greet you with a Kako you can make a big jump with. We. Alternate Temple Order. The standard temple order is Forest, Fire, Water, Shadow, and Spirit Last. However, because of which items you really need for each dungeon, you could actually do them out of the intended order. For example, the current glitchless any percent route does Fire, Forest, Water, Spirit, then Shadow Last. Big Fairies Playing the Song of Storms or Sun Song near Gossip Stones or near areas where Navi turns green will grant you a Big Fairy. Big Fairies grant 8 hearts of health and all your magic refilled. 
Bribe Castle Gate Guard. You can eventually bribe the guard to open the gate for you instead of climbing the vines and going around. Bunny Hood prevents stall children. While wearing the bunny hood, stall children will not spawn in Hyrule Field. Butterfly Fairies. While holding a Deku stick, slowly walk away from a butterfly to have it follow you. Let it land on your stick to have it turn into a fairy. Carpenter's Son becomes Stalfos. During the adult trading sequence, you will have to bring the Carpenter's Son the odd potion. However, Fado will take his place and tell you that he became a Stalfos due to the curse of the Lost Woods. Locked out of Dampe's heart piece. Wait, what? What happened? The flag that says you got this heart piece isn't set on you picking it up. Instead, it's on Dampe digging it up. That means if you leave the area without grabbing the heart piece, you will be locked out of ever getting it again. OT3D fixes this by letting Dampe dig up infinite heart pieces. Brave. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. So, that's the prize for the heart piece, but I don't have any heart pieces. So, I should be locked out of getting that heart piece ever again. Dark Link mirrors your health. Dark Link's health is based on how many heart containers you have. If you have three hearts, he too will have three hearts. See, this should one hit. Yep, it does. Deep Alcove in Zora's Domain. In Zora's Domain, there is an alcove deep underwater near the Zora's River entrance. A newly found beta cave map suggests that this would have been an entrance from that map. Death Mountain Trail, Secret Climbable Wall At the bottom of Death Mountain Trail, there is a bombable wall containing a gold skulltula. You can climb this wall despite no indication saying that you can. Let me see, I believe I can show the collision. Yeah, so this is climbable. Dying Guard in Back Alley After obtaining the Ocarina of Time, but before opening the Door of Time, you can visit the Back Alley to talk to a dying guard who'd fled from Hyrule Castle. Fixing Broken Signs Playing Zelda's Lullaby in front of Broken Signs will fix them. Giant Gwei Not Giant Keys. After killing enough Gweys, a Giant Gwei will spawn and attack you. Oh, there it is. Wow, that is big. Look at the size of that thing. Gerudo Mask lights Wasteland Poles Wearing the Gerudo Mask as an adult in Haunted Wasteland will light up the Guiding Poles. This only works if you use glitches to equip the mask though, so it's not really intended. Gerudo Leader's outfit matches yours. After freeing the carpenters from Gerudo Fortress, the Gerudo Warrior's outfit changes color based on which tunic you're wearing. Hidden Heart Alcove in DC Lizalfos Room On the first floor in the Lizalfos Room in Dodongo's Cavern, you can jump into one of the lava falls to find a hidden alcove with a recovery heart. Kakariko DMT Gate Guard abuses power. When the DMT Gate Guard asks if you could sell him the Keaton Mask, Denying his request will cause him to close the gate until you sell him the mask. Hey. Killing Skull Kids As an adult, you can fight the Skull Kids found in Lost Woods. L is real, 2401. In Dodongo's Cavern, the plaque on the second floor is the same texture as the L is Real 2401 sign from Super Mario 64. Malin and Talon's Bowser Emblem Malin and Talon wear a Bowser Emblem on their shirt. Mourning Rededs After killing a Redead with a living one nearby, the living one will walk to the dead one to mourn it. Orange Rupee Orange Rupees are rare rupees that are valued at 200. One way to find them is to defeat Skull Kids. 99. There we go. Statue Nipples Hookshot Collision. In Spirit Temple, the nipples on the Desert Colossus statue have Hookshot Collision. <laughs> I mean, they hurt you too. Turn on Collision. So these blue spots right here are hookshot collision. Real Zelda players use hole targeting. In King Zora's room in Zora's domain, talking to the Gossip Stone with the Mask of Truth will have it tell you that those who play with hole targeting are real Zelda players. Sorry, Switch targeting players. Skull Mask repels Keese. While wearing the Skull Mask, Keese will ignore you. 
Yeah. <laughs> it just goes away as soon as I put it on. Unloading Haunted Wasteland Sandstorm. Dying in Haunted Wasteland will cause the sandstorm to despawn upon respawning. And if this works... The sandstorm is now gone. White Bubbles Missing in MQ White Bubbles are an enemy that exists in one room of Spirit Temple in Vanilla OT. In Master Quest, these enemies do not exist. Song of Storms Bootstrap Paradox A bootstrap paradox is where the future goes back in time to affect the past, which becomes a future that goes back in time and it just causes a time loop. Learning the Song of Storms is a bootstrap paradox because the windmill guy teaches you the song that a kid played to mess up the windmill. When you go back in time to play the song to open the bottom of the well, you become that kid and now you give the windmill guy a reason to teach you the song in the future. Bottom of the Well, Shadow Temple 1 Dungeon the last two adult temples, Shadow and Spirit, are conceptually meant for you to explore as both a child and an adult, each half with their own treasure. Spirit Temple has two halves that you complete at both ages. Shadow Temple Child section is bottom of the well. It's also why it uses the same music. Cursed Rich Man Ruins Hyrule Economy The reward for finding 100 gold Skulltulas is 200 rupees anytime you wish. This infinite source of money would ruin the value of rupees, tanking Hyrule's economy. Cursed Rich Family Stronger Than Ganon you cannot kill the Cursed Rich Family Skulltulas no matter how much you attack them. This invincibility makes them stronger than Ganon. Dampe stole the hookshot. When reading Dampe's diary as a child, he'll tell you about how when he dug a hole, he found the treasure that was the hookshot. This implies that Dampe stole the hookshot from someone's grave. Link's mother. After completing Forest Temple, the Deku Tree Sprout tells Link about how his mother fled from the Hyrulean Civil War to entrust her son with the Great Deku Tree. The question becomes who Link's mother was. Raru is Kapora Gabora. One of the Gossip Stones in Sacred Forest Meadow tells you that Kapora Gabora is the reincarnation of an ancient sage. Kapora Gabora only talks to you as a child and never as an adult. That's because if he needs to talk to you, he'll just tell you as Raru. Ingo raised Ganondorf's horse. Ganondorf places Ingo in charge of Lon Lon Ranch after Link opens the Sacred Realm. Ingo planned to give Epona to Ganondorf as a gift, but Link managed to tame Epona beforehand. With all the horses at Lon Lon, it could be that Ingo raised Ganondorf's horse, hence why he was put in charge of Lon Lon Ranch in the adult timeline. Talon's wife is Gerudo. When Link talks to Talon while wearing a Gerudo mask, Talon will comment that it looks like his wife, before correcting himself that it looks nothing like her at all. Spooky Mask True Purpose While wearing the spooky mask, talking to Lakeside Lab scientists will have him tell you that the mask is made from a coffin. Talking to Dampate will have him ask you if you know what kind of mask it is, and why you're still wearing it if you do. Zora's Hold Sacrificial Rituals In Master Quest Jabu Jabu, there are several cows inside the dungeon. Given how you offer a fish to Jabu Jabu to enter inside him, it could be that the cows inside Jabu Jabu were offered by the Zoras as well. Thirty seventh heart piece. At the top of Gerudo Fortress as a child, there's a heart piece you can pick up at the top of jail. Thirty eighth heart piece. In an alternate scene setup of the graveyard, there's a treasure chest containing a piece of heart where there's normally a piece of heart inside a wooden box. 39th heart piece. In an alternate scene setup of inside Jabu Jabu's belly, you can navigate to a room containing a treasure chest with a piece of heart inside it. Alternate scene setups. In the game's files are data for unused cutscenes. These cutscenes contain versions of maps that were done at the time the cutscene was made. In turn, these maps have differences not seen in the final version of the game. R Wings R Wings were put in the game's files as a way to test Volvagia's flight patterns. You can spawn them and fight them. Bazaar Owner Missing Legs The Bazaar Owner's model does not have any features from the waist down. Deku Shield and Intro Cutscene the map of Kokiri Forest that is used in the intro cutscene has a Deku shield on one of the roofs. You can just make it out if you look for it really carefully in the intro cutscene. Market Bitter Faces The group of Market Bitters have very low detailed faces, despite the fact you might never see them in normal gameplay anyways. Some of them only have half a face. Map Screen Inaccuracies Hyrule in the map screen has some missing features, such as the Fire Arrow Island, the Fishing Pond Land, the Brown Canyon Dirt at the entrance to Gerudo Valley, and Jabu Jabu missing from Zora's Fountain, among a few others. Master Glitch Maneuvering Epona into loading zones for certain interior maps will cause Link's state to be set to Onipona, 
With the state active, you can do other glitches such as getting stuck in the air and soft blocking. Ocarina Pedestal The Ocarina Pedestal is a removed object from the game that looks similar to medallion pedestals. Ocarina Pedestals are small with an ocarina symbol on them. Unmilkable Cows You're able to milk cows by playing your opponent song in front of them. However, in Master Quest Jabu Jabu, there are cows you cannot milk due to them being out of reach, such as being embedded in the walls. X marks the treasure chest shop. The pre-rendered image used in Market has the doors missing for the Bombchu Bowling Shop and the treasure chest shop. Where the door should be for the treasure chest shop is marked with an X. Sixty four DD nineteen ninety six build. Zelda sixty four originally started development as a title for the sixty four DD. However, due to the eventual failure of the device, as well as needing for quickly reading movement data, development moved to using cartridges. A notable aspect of this era of development sees Link using items with A and B like the NES game. Beta Zelda sixty four assets. With the Giga Leak, new assets from Zelda sixty four's development have been rediscovered and imported into Ocarina of Time. Some of the assets found include old maps and old enemies like Selfos and Wallmasters. Conan the Barbarian music. The commercial for Ocarina of Time uses music from Conan the Barbarian. Dark Link is a torch. The files for Dark Link refer to him as Torch 2. These pictures from Mr. Cheese's tweet show the files from that old torch actor. Elemental arrows. Each adult temple is planned to have a corresponding elemental arrow and an elemental spell. In game there are the fire, light, and ice arrows, but no wind, spirit, and shadow arrows. Farting cabbages. The French script calls bomb flowers farting cabbages. Yes, this is actually a thing. German script. The German script takes interesting liberties with its translations. The odd mushroom description calls it similar to something seen at a nightclub. Twin Rova's translated name is roughly Killer Grandmas with a combined form named Sexy Thermo Hexy. Giga Leak. In late July 2020, there was a massive leak of Nintendo source code composed of gigabytes of developmental data including assets for games like Luigi and Super Mario 64 and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl beta assets. Ocarina of Time got a lot of things too, such as high resolution manual art for items in the game. Link drinks Morinda. There's a Merinda commercial featuring Ocarina of Time where Link stops by a cooler in Kakariko Village to drink Merinda. <laughs> Medallion spells. Medallions were planned to be used as magic spells. The three magic spells in the game are for Forest, Fire, and Spirit Temple. The remaining temples would be Light, Water, Slash Ice Magic, and Dark Magic spells. Sad Life. KZ Dev Krim was able to get in contact with one of the Wii Virtual Console developers nicknamed Homeboy Stevens and ask him about his work on the emulator. When asked about VC crashes, Stevens said that if the VC runs out of memory and it can't pull any from the Wii's global memory, he calls the crash a sad life. Shoshinkai 1995 Tech Demo This is the tech demo that showed a 3D Link fighting a metal version of himself. This is some of the earliest footage of what Zelda 64 was or could have been, conceptually speaking. English to Spanish translation booklet. The original release of Ocarina of Time didn't have a Spanish translation. It was being worked on, but due to time constraints, it was canned. The solution that was thought of was to include an English to Spanish translation booklet of the entire game's script. Spanish players would have to search for the English line in the book and then they would find the translated line right below it. Ura Zelda. Ura Zelda was a planned add-on for Ocarina of Time that would make use of the 64 DD. It would contain alternate and more difficult dungeons, similar to Second Quest or Master Quest. Master Quest is said to be what became of Ura Zelda, but it could be that Nintendo only said it so people would be satisfied after Ura Zelda's cancellation. Unicorn Fountain Unicorn Fountain is an unused location that was said to be used in Ura Zelda and even in the base game at another point. It's rumored that this is where Link would obtain the Triforce as well as the Sword Beam attack. Whilst thou suck. The commercial for Ocarina of Time asks the player if thou wilt soar, or if thou wilt suck. Bottle's most powerful item. Using glitches, bottles are a powerful tool. You can use them as an ocarina, write items to your inventory, make them the only item in your inventory, and even play tennis to name some things. Epona hopping offense. 
This video shows you how to hop a fence without Goron Mask or damage boosting. Fishing is a boss fight. Kazuaki Morita, the programmer responsible for the boss fights, also programmed the fishing minigame. Lever Armor. Akrite discovered stale reference manipulation in 2007. Devs intended SRM. Stale reference manipulation has Link holding up his arms. The Goron paintings on the walls in Goron City look strikingly similar to this glitch. Beat the Running Man You can race the Running Man from Grudo Valley to the Lost Woods. He beats you in the race every time. There were rumors you can actually beat him, but turns out you actually can't. Forest Temple was the Wind Temple. During development, the Forest Temple was going to implement more wind-based elements. This can be seen in the Forest Trial where there are big wind fans. The Forest Medallion also looks similar to a Cyclone, which makes sense since Farora's Wind would have been the Forest Temple's Medallion spell, if those were to be fully implemented in the game. Graveyard Kid Runs Po Shop The Graveyard Kid's fascination to be like Dampe may have brought him to be the owner of the Po Shop in the adult timeline. Grezzo Patched Pokey's Run when Grezzo was developing Ocarina of Time 3D, they may have used an OT run by Pokey to patch out certain glitches and tricks. For example, the run used Infinite Sword Glitch and Bottom of the Well early. In OT 3D, attempts were made to fix these tricks, but runners found ways around them anyway. Ice Temple When Ocarina of Time was being developed for the 64DD, there were going to be a lot more temples and areas in the game. When production moved to cartridges, a lot of stuff had to be cut. One of these rumored cut areas was the Ice Temple. The remnants of what it could have been are seen in Ice Cavern and Water Trial. Jabu Jabu Location During Adult Jabu Jabu is gone from Zora's Fountain as an adult. Where does Jabu go? Some say Jabu migrates away to a warmer place, and others say Ganondorf kills Jabu. Light Temple, Sky Temple The Light Temple, Sky Temple is another rumored dungeon that was cut from the 64DD development of the game. Each medallion has a temple associated to it, except for the Light Medallion. Instead, it is simply given to you by Raru. Lots of Pots Guard Runs Po Shop Instead of the Graveyard Kid running the Po Shop, this rumor says that it's actually the guard in Lots of Pots that runs the shop. His need for wanting something exciting leads him to this line of work after Ganondorf takes over Hyrule Castle. Obtainable Triforce For a long while, it was rumored that the Triforce was an actual item you can get in the game. There was an area for it on the pause menu, but nothing to actually put there. Supposedly, Link was going to get the Triforce in the Unicorn Fountain found in the deep alcove in Zoro's Domain, but nothing exists there. Perhaps earlier in development, the Triforce was an actual item you can get, but there's nothing like it in the actual game. Unfreeze Zoro's Domain Another rumor is that you are actually able to unfreeze Zoro's Domain and bring back the Zoros. How you're able to do this, I'm not really sure. Zelda 64 Beta Assets in Wet Dry World the buildings in Super Mario 64's Wet Dry World look similar to the ones found in beta screenshots for Zelda 64. Bizarre Owner is a Ghost The Bizarre Owner is dead. He is actually a ghost. This is why he has no legs. Blue Diamond Glitch this glitch comes from an IL run of Dewdog's Cavern. The blue diamond glitch allows the player to hover at will. To this day, no one has been able to replicate this exact trick. This is the only known footage of someone being able to pull this off. Bongo Bongo is an executed prisoner. Shadow Temple is a place of the dead. Death happens here. Skulls on the walls, guillotine hallways, the river Styx, even an execution podium are all present here. This is where traitors to the royal family are executed. Bongo Bongo was once one of these traitors. After its execution, the body was hung upside down in the deepest part of the dungeon. Bongo Bongo uses evil magic to take the form that you fight. Dead Body in Fishing Pond There is a very rare chance of finding a dead body in the fishing pond. It was first reported by a user named Macropay, but even then there was no recorded proof of it ever happening. Until soon after, Natalia Has Died posted this image of a dead body in the fishing pond. This is the only photographic proof of this phenomenon occurring. Dudong's Cavern is real. This legendary run of Dudong's Cavern has been called fake by many critics. However, this is a legitimate run. There's no telling how much practice this runner did to ready themselves for the run of a lifetime. To this day, no runner has been able to perfectly replicate this exact run. Forest Temple Gravity Gravity in Forest Temple is broken. 
The Twisted Room cannot work if gravity were normal within the temple. The temple is a void in space-time that is unaffected by outside forces, instead applying its own physics inside the temple walls. Hyrule Castle Door There is a door near the crates in Hyrule Castle. You are not able to enter this door. It is likely the guards kick you out through this door, but while inside Hyrule Castle, the door does not line up with its counterpart outside. How can this be? Jabu Jabu is the ice. Jabu Jabu is nowhere to be found in the adult timeline. Zora's domain has been frozen over. Some speculate Jabu simply migrated elsewhere, but that isn't the case. Instead, Jabu Jabu was transformed into the ice plaguing the Zoras. The ice exists as an adult, but not as a child when you can visit Jabu. Lakeside Laboratory Shark Origins Where does the shark at the bottom of Lakeside Laboratory come from? Was it found in Lake Hylia? What's on the other side of its gate? Who brought the shark into the lab? Map Icon Dungeon Layout Thanks to the Giga League, we've gotten high quality renders of Ocarina of Time's items. One of those items is the dungeon map icon. Looking at the map, we see a dungeon layout that is not present in the game. Which dungeon does this map belong to? Obtainable Mirinda. The Mirinda commercial uses a real version of Ocarina of Time. The Mirinda ice chest is a real thing in this version of the game. Where are these copies of the game today? Personalizable OOT copies. Some copies of Ocarina of Time are able to be personalized by the player. This footage shows one person's personalized copy of Link, able to create dogs at will. How can this be possible? Could they have had an ace up their sleeve, or is this something more sinister? Simarth Puzzle True Location A few years ago, Simarth released this image to the community and asked where this location was in the game. To this day, very few people have been able to discover the true location of the puzzle. Is this location possible? Was Simarth's copy haunted, and this location is where Link will spend the rest of his existence? The Internal Plexus of Jabu 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 is a big fish, but Jabu Jabu is not super big. However, inside Jabu Jabu's belly is big. Impossible, actually. Note Jabu's size as Link travels around the outside of Jabu. Compare this to the internal size of Jabu. This is bigger than the outside. This cannot be possible. What is Jabu Jabu? Unreleased Spanish translated copies. While the original Spanish translated copies of the game were never finished, rumors say development cards of the Spanish translation do exist in the wild. They've never shown up online, and no one has come forth claiming to have come in contact with one. What happened to the translator's work? Where did those cards go? This is an addendum section of different topics that I would have put on the iceberg had I remembered them at the time of the image's creation. Consider this a mixed bag from all different levels of the iceberg. Adaptive Hyrule Field Music Hyrule Field's music changes from calm to energetic while you're walking. Anti-Piracy Checks Ocarina of Time has some anti-piracy checks built into the game by having certain actors look for the CIC-6105 security chip. If it doesn't find it, then the anti-piracy measures kick in. Fishing is made impossible as fish let go after 51 frames. Zelda's checks include changing her hair and abandoning you during the collapse sequence. Bean Guy is Danpei's son. Bean Guy shares a striking resemblance to Danpei. Bean Guy also has a 10-in-1 tattoo on his arm the inverse of Danpei's 1 in 10 heart piece odds. Composer Brothers Grave in Desert Colossus The rocks sticking out of the ground in Desert Colossus are actually the Composer Brothers Grave. Darunia's Shaft Darunia's room contains a shaft in the ceiling. It isn't used for anything, and is a similar geometry oddity like the Zora's Domain alcove. Debug Reset Code There is a secret input code you can enter on the title screen to delete save files. Differing targeting sounds Targeting makes a different sound depending on if you target NPCs, target enemies, are in the overworld, or are in a dungeon. Dogs extinct as adult there are no dogs in Hyrule when you are an adult. Floating Bow Chest The bow chest in Forest Temple is actually floating a little bit off the ground. You can check this by trying to backflip onto it. If it was grounded, 
You would be able to, but because you cannot, it means it is floating. Floating Kakariko Window There is a window in Kakariko Village near a gold skull that isn't aligned properly, causing it to float in front of the house it belongs to. Forest Temple is the first Hyrule Castle. There is a theory that Forest Temple was actually the first Hyrule Castle, and when it was abandoned, it was moved to the Hyrule Castle's current location. Ganondorf uses fishing sounds. When Ganondorf flies around, the sounds he makes are the same ones the fishing rod makes when casting. Giant Lever Continuously defeating levers will cause a giant lever to spawn. Giant Stall Child, infinitely growing stall children. Continuously defeating stall children will cause a giant one to appear. If you continue on using Infinite Knight, you can watch them become absurdly huge. I love you. Page 7 of the Crash Debugger will display the message, I love you. Invisible Twin Rova. After defeating Twin Rova while she's being hit with a spell, waiting around 8 minutes will start the fight again with Twin Rova now being invisible. You can do this over and over to do part pieces. January 2021 leak, 0 0.9 On January 19th, two new data leaks were released to the public. One leak was a pre-release build of Ocarina of Time dated three days before the 1.0 release, with the community dubbing it 0 0.9. This build is mostly the same as vanilla, but there are some differences, such as a cutscene playing for each gold skull Tilla killed. The second leak of the day was Beta Zelda 64 data. Among this was restored map data, unused graphics, early icons, and text for unused items such as elemental arrows and elemental spells. Kakariko Village Music Variations The music that plays in Kakariko Village is different depending on if you are a child or an adult. The child version uses an acoustic instrumentation, while the adult version uses an orchestral instrumentation. Mido is Impa. As part of the January Zelda leaks, the Japanese text string translating to Mido's seal was found. This is found alongside seals for the other sages, but Impa is missing. This implies that Mido was originally going to have the role of Impa as the Shadow Sage. Misaligned Hyrule Field Fence. As an adult, Hyrule Field has a fence blocking off the south, save for a small gap. The path that is supposed to go through this gap does not, making for an amusing sight. Odd Mushroom Chest in Gerudo Fortress. In Gerudo's Fortress, the chest that normally contains a heart piece as an adult contains an odd mushroom as a child. Saurius Fairy Color The color of Saurius Fairy is randomized in each new save file. Title Screen File Link on the title screen uses a real save file. Unloading Boulder Hitboxes when you are a certain distance away from boulders, their hitboxes unload. You don't have to play if you don't want to. Doing nothing while playing the shooting gallery minigame makes the archery guy tell you it's okay, and you don't have to play if you don't want to. Zalgo Timer If you set the timer to have really high or really low values, the text corrupts and leaves you with Zalgo text. Whoa, there it is. With that, the iceberg is complete. You've seen some oddities, some quirks, some lore, some memes, some theories, and some dreams. While this ended up taking a lot longer to make than I'd originally planned to finish it by, I'm happy with finally reaching this point of the video. I originally wanted to make the iceberg as a way to record many of the cool things I've seen OOT runners show off now and then. There's a long history of info, lore, and inside jokes within the OOT community, and I wanted to highlight some of the things that made it so fascinating to me. I want to thank the GZ team for making the practice ROM. Without it, I would not have been able to show off the majority of this stuff on my own. I also want to thank the people in the OOT speedrunning discord for being such helpful and cool people. 
There's nothing like seeing the people I admire post Keck W to my memes. I live for that stuff. In a way, this video is not just a love letter to Ocarina of Time, but also to the people who play it as well. You're what helped me push on to see this video through. For that, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You are all very pog. And to you, the viewer, thank you for watching.